can't push him in the face. He's occupying center line. This is where you trap. There you go, like that. You don't need to go through the motions to try to cross the arms like this and then do something else. Even though it's good training and it teaches skill, in reality, you're just getting that arm out the way to punch. But I'm not gonna be able to magically trap the hands like this. This is not the goal. This right here of trapping their hands to get them, that's not the goal. The goal is to hit them in the face. That's the point of trapping. Why your trapping sucks. Yes, this video is going to be dedicated to showing how to use trapping and to debunk all the guys that say trapping doesn't work and some JKD guys have been saying that, oh, trapping's useless, Bruce doesn't use it, it's bad, don't do it. This video is gonna be going with pros and cons of trapping, when to use it, when not to, and really what even is trapping. Let's get right into it. Real quick, if you wanna learn Jeet Kune Do at home or online, go in the link in the description. I have a free Jeet Kune Do course down in the description, completely free, off school. Go join if you wanna learn. Anyway, let's get back into it. A lot of guys say the trapping doesn't work, it's useless, whatever, whatever. But in reality, just like every technique, it has a time and a place to be used. Just like a soldier. If you were to ask a military soldier, what's the best weapon? Well, there's a different answer. The gun, that medium to long range, grenade if he's around the corner, hiding in a doorway or something. Sniper if he's far out. Airstrike if they're far away and very bunkered in. There's a different, there's a different tool for each scenario, just like fighting. Not one technique's gonna work for everything. No, there's not a single technique that works every every time, no matter what. It's not a that's not a thing. But you have to learn that in certain ranges, in certain distances, at certain times, there are techniques that are really good to use in that work. Trapping is the same way. The whole point of trapping is not to trap his hands like this and the, uh, you're not chasing the hands. That's what everyone thinks. No. The point of trapping is to hit him in the face. The point of trapping is to hit him. So if he has his hands, like everybody does right here, is the trapping does not work because if I come, no, hit him in the face. What do you do? If if his hands are out the way, what am I trapping? What What is the point? The whole reason that we do this drill is up here is because his hands are in the way. I cannot punch him. I cannot, he's gonna block. I can't, I can't. So now that's when you're gonna trap. The whole point is that the hands are in the way. That's the first thing. If their hands are at their, their, their waist right here, or, or if he has a, a big, like a weird stance like this, and this is all open, why are you trapping? There's, that's not the point. The point is that you're trapping because what you wanna hit is covered up. And now you need to manipulate the hands to actually hit that. So now you need to manipulate the hands to open up, to create that opening to hit. First, you don't wanna be chasing hands. When the opportunity arises, that's when you use it. You're not chasing the hands to try to trap the pin. The second thing I'm talking about is that the trapping only, most of the trapping only works when you're in the same stance, either orthodox, orthodox, southpaw, southpaw. So for instance, we're both in southpaw right now. This is where the trapping could work. This is where I could do some stuff. Well now, if I do the same pot side, it doesn't work. Duh, it because the trapping is designed or if you're facing the opponent. Now, if you're different stances, you need to do something else. Now, I'm gonna do, I need to move more and do something else and open up other things. It's not gonna work as effectively. But I'm not gonna be able to magically trap the hands like this. This is not the goal. This right here of trapping their hands to get them, pro that's not the goal. The goal is to hit them in the face. That's the point of trapping. Another thing is a lot of guys, they're trapping from the wrong distance. See, I can't trap from this range. The whole point of trapping is it's close range, it's that clinch. The trapping range, the clinch range, it's very, very similar. They're almost the same thing. I can't trap him, I can't do anything because he kicked me. He can double and take me. There's no point of trapping from this range. But from here, if I try to get close, that's when the trapping's gonna work. You have to be at that close range. And then now, as you see, the trapping range and clinch range are almost the same thing. So if I trap and I hit, I'm in clinch range. Now I can go, now I can go for that close range Muay Thai clinch. But that trapping range is right on the entrance of the clinch range. The headbutt, knees, whatever. 
you have to be that close range. You can't be too far out because now if I try to look for the hands and, and try to trap from this range, he can kick me, he can intercept, he can do something else. Another thing is that the trapping only works when the person is occupying center line or on center line. What do I mean by that? If his hands aren't sort of near center line, occupying center line, then there's no need to trap. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to punch in the face. The only reason you trap, the only reason you stick is because you can't punch them. That is the only reason. That's why, let's say as a long guard, now, now if I get close, I'm going to walk into the punch. If I punch, punch, it's going to defend it. The punch, it's going to defend it. Now, that's where the trapping works. Duh, 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 duh. That's when the trapping works. That's why we practice from this reference point. It's a reference point. No, you're not going to fight like this. I mean, you could, but I mean, I'm not going to. No, but this shows when the person and his arm is in center line in front of his face, I can't hit him. That's when the trapping works. Also, with the trapping, you can use a feint to encourage the movement you want to then flow off of it. It's so like for here, if he's in a regular stance, I can throw a fake punch down the pipe or down the body to encourage him to react, and then I can pop out and hit off the back of it, lopsided, whatever I want to do. Feint to bring his arm one direction, then I go around it, and then I trap. But it's only to trap the punch. I just want to punch him in the face. Same way if he's framing, or he has a long arm in front, or he has a long guard, it's the same technique. Let's say we're fighting, and I'm over boxer, so I get really close and tighten in, and he starts to frame out with that arm. That's something you'll see, especially more tie fighters that fight long guard, they'll frame out and get the hands in front to push you away. So now I can't, he's trying to keep me back. Maybe it's he's throwing a long jab, whatever, he's keeping me back. Now, what does this do? I can't push him in the face. He's occupying center line. This is where you trap. There you go, like that. The trapping, no, I'm not looking for hands or anything like that. I'm not looking for the trap, but I'm fighting, moving in and out of range. Once we get in the range, and I cannot punch in the face, that's when I can go around it with whatever. That's where the techniques work. That's why they work off this structure. Because it's saying, hey, the person is on center line, and I can't punch him in the face. That's when you trap. So, yes, you need to know everything else. You need to know how to kickbox. You need to know how to work in the clinch. You need to know how to grapple. But the trapping has a part to play, just like everything else. In all reality, especially for fighting, let's say, same thing as a long guard. Sorry for stuff. All I want to do is get rid of this front hand somehow. Once I get rid of this front hand, then I can just really, I can just keep hitting him. Sure, he has this one hand, but now I have one hand defending against two hands. I can just keep punching him. The trap is just to get that arm out the way so I can attack him. That's it. You don't need, you don't need to go through the motions to try to cross the arms like this and then do something else. Even though it's good training and it teaches skill, in reality, you're just getting that arm out the way to punch. You're getting that hand out the way to punch. That's it. Reality, let's say I come from the jab of the body, then up. Once I get this first move in, now I can punch, hit, headbutt, whatever. Because now I've broken him down, I've broken his structure, and I can attack him. Like I said earlier, same thing. I'm not trying to look for the hands, look for it. But let's say we're fighting, and I feel his arm, and I can feel it's very strong tips. I might not want to do the poxy, it's too hard. So, Bam! Wow. I'm gonna lock, but I'm gonna keep attacking him. That's the point. You're going to just manipulate his arms to create an opening to hit. That's it. It only works for a specific time in a specific place, but it still works. But you can't use it all the time. You can't always magically trap the person's arms, but it can buy you a second to stun them, to shock them, and to hurt them. So that's it for this video for a rant just to try to explain when the trapping works and that it can work in a certain scenario. You see Tony Ferguson using trapping. You see John Jones using trapping in their fights. Trapping works. You see even in boxing too, it works, but only in a specific time. And no, it's not gonna be the fancy stuff from it band four. It's only gonna be just enough to hit and now I just keep attacking them, just enough. That's all it's gonna be. Like I said earlier, you want the free course on Jiku No, where I break down all this stuff for free. First link in the bio, in the description. Check it out. Join. It's on school. It's on the app school. So it's all we got. Um, out the way. Keep training. Stay safe.